I'm Carlos Moreno. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at Emory University. We previously developed a signature of 24 genes using RNA sequencing that was predictive of biochemical recurrence in patients, prostate cancer patients with radical prostatectomies. In this paper, what we've done is we've applied that signature and validated that signature to separate independent cohorts of patients from the Mayo Clinic and the Cleveland Clinic. What we know now is that this signature can be used for predicting metastasis and mortality in prostate cancer patients. So it's, it's more generalizable. We have more confidence in the fact that it actually works because we've tested it on new independent sets of patients. We actually examined three different cohorts. There was a, a cohort of over 200 patients from the Cleveland Clinic, uh, another very large cohort from the Mayo Clinic that uh, was over 500 patients that we used sort of to fine tune the signature um, and to determine where our cutoffs would be. And then uh, there was the, the, the final cohort of about 265 patients from the Mayo Clinic uh, that had time dependent data available so that we could uh, perform the survival analyses that were necessary to validate the signature. We saw that our signature was able to uh, show that patients with high uh, scores in the signature had 3.6 fold higher risk of metastasis and six and a half fold greater risk of mortality. Um, and patients with a low risk uh, or low score uh, had basically a 99% chance of being free of metastasis and uh, mortality. So people with low risk scores uh, do very well. And patients with high risk scores, they still do pretty well, but you, there's, there's, there are patients that you need to follow more closely and perhaps uh, provide options for adjuvant therapies. We were pleased that we saw what we had been hoping to see, which was that we were able to validate our signature and it was not only predictive of biochemical recurrence, but also of metastasis and mortality in these patients. And so we're hopeful that this is something that can be used clinically that would help clinicians and patients in either feeling quite confident that they're going to do very well after their surgery and they're essentially cured, or if they have a higher signature that, that there's maybe ways to improve outcomes with those patients by following them more closely or uh, providing them with additional uh, therapeutic options.